If you like this face makeup and you want to achieve a mattifying yet glowing face at the same time for New Year's, please keep watching. So we have to put some moisturizer on to ensure that we aren't going to be dry or too oily. So I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and this is for combination oily to oily skin. So I want to make sure that my makeup during New Year's is going to be mattifying and that nothing's going to be moving around on my face. Since it is going to be a long night out partying or doing whatever you're doing, I decided to use my Breath of Fresh Air spray from Lush and this is just going to help me look more awake throughout the night. So once my spray is all dry, I'm going with my Smashbox Photo Matte Anti Shine Anti Brilliance. This is just more of a pore filler and again we're trying to keep it as matte as possible. So I'm just putting this especially in my T-zone area where I have a larger pores and where I tend to get a little bit more oily. Because my camera focuses off you can't see the product that well but I'm using a liquid illuminator and I'm mixing this in with my foundation so that I don't look too dull since we are using a lot of mattifying products. I decided to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation since it is very mattifying and we want to stay matte and non-greasy all night and I am in the color Natural Beige and I am going to be mixing this with the Liquid Illuminator. At first we're just going to use our fingers to dot this onto our face and then we will go in with our Beauty Blender to blend it all out. Then when we go in with our beauty blender, just make sure that you push it into the skin liquid I'm doing. Do not rub it or drag it along your skin because the beauty blender already picks up like 60% of the product from your face. You just want to make sure you are actually putting this right into your skin. Then I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix to set my foundation. Um, this is a foundation powder, I guess you can call it, but um, I sometimes like doing this. It gives you more full coverage, and I find that sometimes when you do use a powder foundation, it actually does kind of keep it a little bit more matte. Then I'm using my Glamouflage Duo Concealer Stick by Hard Candy. These are absolutely amazing concealer sticks. I would recommend these to anybody. They are so affordable. What I'm going to do with the stick is just make a triangle shape underneath both of my eyes. And this is a really great technique to fake being more awake. Um, this will also highlight your under eye and cheeks and just really give you a nice glow. Then I'm just going to put some on my chin, my forehead, and my nose just to highlight those areas a little bit more. And like the same technique we used with foundation, I'm going in with my Beauty Blender brush and I'm just dabbing this right into my skin. You especially want to do this with concealer because you want it to conceal the areas that you want to conceal. Then I grabbed my NARS contour stick in the color Venetian and I'm just contouring my cheekbones along my forehead and temples and the sides of my nose. Also just a tip for some people, if you don't really know how to place your contour, what I always do is I grab my finger and I look at the top of my ear and I drag it straight down across my cheekbone. Um, I will never go below that line, I will always just contour it on that line and above and that's where you should be contouring on your cheekbones. I like to always go back and blend everything out because I can never blend everything out all perfect at once, so I just always go back to blend my concealer with my contour. For my nose, I like to blend out with a brush first and then I'll go in with my beauty blender and I'll blend the contour with the concealer once again like I did for my face. Then 
Then I'm going with my Sephora Bright Set Setting Powder and I'm just going to put this under my eyes, on my chin and on my forehead. You can go ahead and put this on your nose and underneath your contour and your cheekbones as well, but I just decided to do just the main points on my face. And this will also help me look a lot more awake and keep me looking bright throughout the night. And while I am waiting for the setting powder to set on my face, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette. It is like the best. Um, I'm picking up some contouring color and I'm putting this on my cheekbones and on my forehead just to emphasize the contour a little bit more. So I really don't know where all the other clips went of me taking off my setting powder, putting my highlight, doing my eyebrows, doing my eyeliner. It's kind of just like it went and disappeared somewhere. So I really do apologize uh, about that. If you guys are wondering what I'm using for my eyebrows, all I did use was just powder and I absolutely love this. This is the Bobbi Brown Brow Kit in the color Saddle Slash Mahogany. These are great. They have lasted me such a long time. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but when I tell you that they are amazing and so pigmented and so easy to blend, they are just amazing. Just to make things a little bit more exciting, I grabbed the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm putting this in my waterline to make my eyes look bigger and more awake and just so fresh and bold for New Year's. Then I grabbed my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara and I am only using these lashes once so I decided that I would add more volume to the lashes to make my eye more bold since this is a more simple look for New Year's and I'm also putting mascara on my bottom lashes. I decided to use my Soft and Gentle Highlight by MAC that I put on my cheekbones to put under my brow bone. So just to pull everything together and make my eye area just look a little bit more exciting and not too plain. Then I grabbed the lip liner from MAC in the color Strip Down and I am going to overline my lips and fill them in a little bit. Then from NYX, I'm going in with the color 532. It is the Lip Smacking Fun Colors, and I'm just going to put this all over my lips. I find that this is a very versatile nude color. It kind of looks good with everything. Then I decided that the look was really boring and that I should do a little bit more. So I got the color Aspen Summit from uh, Sephora. And I put this in my inner tear duct and along three quarters of the lower lash line. Then I just dusted away any fallout that went onto my skin. I'm applying mascara on my lower lashes once more because the eyeshadow got onto the lashes. And again, putting more black onto your lashes will just help your eye look more bold. And to ensure that we stay matte and our makeup doesn't move around, I went with my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray just to hold my makeup in place all night. Thank you for watching. This is the final look. Please subscribe and like my video and comment. Have a nice one, guys. Happy holidays.